Stories of learners struggling to forge forward into secondary school have been mushrooming across the media, highlighting the plight of the bright and generally pointing to a challenge in the attainment of a 100% transition to secondary school. Since their call date to school early this month, Ebru TV has highlighted such issues that highlight an imbalance in the absorption of the new learners. The principal secretary of basic education, Dr. Belio Kipsang, lauded the media for covering stories and highlighting cases of needy learners who are seeking financial support to join Form 1. Asking also our editors, mainly those who are in our public schools, that these are public institutions. So when children come, let's accept them first into school, then we can see as a society how we make sure that their school fees and other requirements are met. But the first thing is that we should not return any kid who has come to school. Dr. Belio said the 100% transition is achievable as the ministry is working together with a multi-agency team to ensure every needy child is assisted to join a secondary school. Officers also have been doing quite some good work in making sure that uh, we identify and make sure that no child is left behind. We are informing our parents that it is a constitutional requirement that all our children are given an opportunity to go through the basic education. And basic education is 12 years of learning, which runs from grade 1 to form 4. The PS directed their teachers to allow the learners be admitted despite their challenges, noting that the goal was to get them to school fast so that further assistance can be channeled. That we will have 100% transition such that no one child will be able to remain at home that he or she has not been able to go to secondary school. Report to our field officers that we have these kids who have come, they have not paid anything, then we can see how we can deal with that issue as government. We requested the members of parliament because they get CDF funds that we can be able to partner with them. The Minister of Education has also been calling for assistance from elected leaders to aid its efforts through the NGCDF allocations, a call that has been answered by some with the impact yet to hit desirable levels. Hata mimi nikisoma, nilisoma kwa masida mingi. Ni ya kwamba hapa kiharu siku ya leo, we have been able to launch another special thing in regards to what our parents pay. Because in all our day schools, today we have rolled out a program where parents would only be paying 1,000 shillings per term for the Yalanas. It's no greater investment than investing kwa watoto wenu. There is no greater equality tool, an equalization tool than education that we are seeing today. We are doing our last group of uh, class 8 next year. We would want to make sure that we close off this particular category of learning in a way that uh, we continue giving 100% Transition. While calling on other financial partners to come on board to aid the needy and bright learners to continue with their education, Dr. Belio asked parents and guardians to give their children time to go through the right education system, noting that the reports of schools trying to register.